Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm in the process of moving out of my little apartment here and heading off to residency in our new home. And as you can see behind me, I have a bunch of notes. Apparently I'm a hoarder and I can't throw it away. But a lot of you are asking, how did I study in med school? What are some strategies and study tips, things like that. Um, and so I wanted to go through some of these notes with you guys and show you what I actually did. And I was really reluctant to go through um, this just because everyone studies so differently. So if you're studying the way, if it works for you, then stick to it. So depending on the subject, I would approach the study topics differently. Um, but most of the time in the beginning, I remember first and second year, I would try to read through all the slides or all the handouts and or the study material before going to lecture. But that's has become like nearly impossible just because there's so much material. And so I try to skim through things, but if I can't, then I would only do it for subjects where I knew I had to read through the material before going to lecture to really understand it, like um, pharmacology or something like that. During class, I would try to write notes on the handouts, and then when I would go home, I would rewrite the notes or reread the notes and things like that. And then I wouldn't want to study in groups until I fully understood all the study material. So when it came closer to test date, I would like to meet up with my friends or join a study group and just um, spit fire questions at each other and just continue to ask each other questions. Because so like when you're asking each other these questions, you're thinking critically. And so the things that you find important might be different than the things that your friends might find important and so you just go through all of those together and i find that that's really helpful so i feel like third and fourth year studying has became a lot different because you were seeing more you're seeing patients you're out in the clinic you're very hands-on you're working in the hospitals and so i feel that this is where um you cement your medical knowledge and sure you can cram all this information for a second year into your brain for the boards but so the things that stick with you long term are your patients and um, the patients that you take care of and so yeah so third and fourth year it's more of um, being very involved and every day I would like to go home and actually read about a patient that I had say um, a patient of mine had heart failure I would go home and read about all the heart failure um, what causes it what kind of management you would make and what kind of diagnostic test you would do what if what's the outpatient protocol what happens if they're inpatient all those different things um, and I find that it's really helpful because you just I don't know it's it's easier to third and fourth year it's a lot easier to learn clinical based things because you're actually doing it yeah let's go through some of these notes and I'll show you guys what I did um, more first and second year of med school so yeah these are a lot of notes, so let me just set up my tripod and we can go through this. So here we have some of my pathology notes. Um, I think for pathology, I like to do, these are kind of like my note cards because they're in different squares. This is the type of disease and these are this is all the information about it. And I love color coordination. Every color means something. And you guys know pathology, you always need to print in color. So yeah, these are basically my pathology notes. And then I would do these and then in class, I would actually write notes in, in them when they talk about it. So, and then after that, I would just read through my notes. So here we have some pharmacology notes. Um, our pharmacology professor actually writes the, our textbook. He's really good, but the textbook actually looks like this. So I would read through the textbook and then rewrite everything in my own notes. So this right here, every color means something. And then these notes specifically are um, like about insulin and all that stuff. 
So anything in pink would be like a mechanism of action. Anything in blue would be the drug. And then anything in purple would mean it's an adverse effect. Anything in red is like a black box warning. So you can see here, these are all my drugs. These are the mechanism of action. These are the onset duration. And then green are just like random notes that I have. So yeah, this is how I would rewrite them and study them and all the colors really help. Okay, so these, this is anatomy. And when I studied anatomy, I would always draw everything. So these are my anatomy notes. And then during dissection, you would have to find all these things and I would actually go through the atlas and draw them all out first. Or things that I knew it would be hard to find. I mean, during class they give you pictures and stuff from the books, but I find that it's a lot more helpful when I actually drew out the anatomy myself. And this is how I would actually study anatomy. So same thing with um, histology. The histology packets are not, they're just a lot of words. And so in my brain, when I, when I think of things, I think of them more in pictures. So I would actually draw out diagrams of um, what, the, what the packet was talking about. And that's how I would try to memorize things. And then I would just go through my notes after. There's a really good one. Oh, here. These are like the different layers of the skin and then usually when they talk about it, they only write out the words, but I like to draw pictures on the side so I would remember. Ooh, brachial plexus. Where did it go? Yeah, so I would draw out the brachial plexus. Um, and just draw it over and over again, but all the different colors just makes me so happy and um, It's just nicer to study that way So I never really use notebooks anymore I just print everything out or I use white paper and I hole punch them and I put them in a binder and once I'm done with that class I just take them out of the binder and put them in these things um, I'll link them where I got these. They're just from Amazon in the description box. So I guess over here is a lot of the same stuff. So I also wanted to share with you guys how I studied microbiology. I don't have any of my notes on me, but this is very similar. It's called Picmonic. Um, it's a program where it's geared towards medical students and they have, say, this is an example, they have rhinovirus, and then you see all the different rhinos, there's a virus right there, um, it's killed by stomach acid, and things like that. So there's little things that help you memorize um, the different bacteria and the drugs that it uses. We didn't want to pay for it, so we actually just made our own, and that worked fairly well for us. And then this. I wish I used this more during second year before board studying. Um, I wish I just read through some of the things after each system um, because these are the things that they would test on and then maybe I can write some of my notes in here. But it was just harder because I went through at the end to reread everything. It would have been nice if I had added some of my own notes in the colors and stuff like that while I was going through these systems like biochem and pathology and GI, um, hemong, stuff like that. So um, I would suggest that if you're going through second year and you're going through systems, maybe write some of your notes in here, uh, review at the end of the system, and so it wouldn't be um, like a brand new thing when you started studying for boards. 
So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram. I'm partnering with Medical Basics. And so if you head over to my Instagram, you can see all the rules and you can see how to enter to win there. Um, so yeah, that's all. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.